hello you guys today's friday day whatever i don't know and yes i'm looking like this again because let's be honest if i come to you dressed every day with my hair done like i go out every day that would be a lie so it is what it is so you guys get this why do i apologize for my looks every time i get on the camera i haven't been out the house in like forever day and i did finish the project in my room i don't know if i even told you guys that because i'm not vlogging every day just here and there but i'm so excited it turned out so well and i'm gonna show you guys when i get the few little things that i am going to get for my room like the decorative things it's gonna take a little bit longer because what I'm ordering is not a necessity and they're putting people who need things like food, babies' diapers, um, gloves, masks, stuff like that due to, you know what, they're putting those orders first, which I totally understand. So the things that I'm getting is not a necessity. There's one thing that's coming May 5th and then there's another thing that's coming on 29th but that's not for my room. That's for another project that I've started. I'll tell you guys about that later. Anyway, so I was able to go to Home Depot to finish getting what I needed for my room. So what they have is you can order it online and then you they have these parking spaces blocked off where you can drive up and they have somebody that's out there and you tell them your name and whatever and they will go get the product and bring it to your car. So we were able to do that. That way we didn't have to get out and around people. So that worked out well and I was able to finish my room and it has such a much better feel to it. It just makes me so happy. It looks a whole lot better. I cannot wait to show you guys the full reveal because it just makes me feel so good when I look at this project. It does have imperfections. I'm no professional whatsoever, but I like it. Makes me happy, so yeah. Anyway, right now I am just folding, about to put away laundry for my room and stuff like that. And catching up on my YouTube subscriptions. And yeah, you guys, not doing a whole lot at all. So I have my diffuser here and I'm about to use this Focus Eucalyptus Mint. I love the smell of the eucalyptus, so I'm gonna use that for my room. Here it is, I have it on, and I don't think you can see the smoke. It is coming out, I have my fan on, so that's the reason why you guys probably can't see it that good on the camera. Well, hello again, I have you guys propped up kinda weirdly. I have a feeling it's gonna tip over. I have you guys on two tissue boxes. I don't feel like holding the camera because my arms are really swollen. Not swollen. My arms are really sore because we've been doing a lot of work around the house, which is a good thing. So projects that I've been putting off because I was working and I didn't have the time. Got the time now. So Cheyenne had some blinds that were sitting and we needed to put up in her room. And I had blinds to put up in Savannah's room. So I put those up. Like I said, I finished the project in my room. Oh, and I finished putting away my clothes. And what else did I do? The mattress that's on my bed, I flipped it around. Um, I put the head to the feet, feet to the head. And usually they say you're supposed to do that and then flip it over on the other side also. But my mattress is the pillow top. So I don't want that on the bottom. It's already feeling more comfortable. I do that maybe like a couple times throughout the year. I know they say do it like in the spring and then in the fall, but I think I do mines more often than that. Probably because I need another mattress. I don't know, I'm just rambling, but it's okay. I just wanted to pull out the camera because I have not been vlogging at all. Hi, I'm vlogging. You wanna say something? No, I was gonna ask you opinion So anyway, um, let's see what y'all doing. What did we do? So we did a bunch of yard work. Backyard looks a whole lot better. It's no longer jungle-ish. <laughs> it's still not the way I want it to be, but it's getting there. I was gonna have someone come over today and give me an estimate on, you know, what I want the backyard to eventually look like. But 
y'all i was so lazy it's like you know what i don't feel like putting on clothes and combing my hair and whatever for somebody to come over so i just told him um we'll do it one day next week lazy i know but it is what it is i mean we've been in the house so it's like i don't want to fully get dressed just to have someone come out and give me an estimate and leave so yeah um well we just rescheduled till sometime next week but my front walkway see i'll show you guys my backyard you know the process the before and after and all that it's not gonna be done overnight because i'm gonna do it in segments because honestly what i want is probably going to be really expensive and of course i don't have the money to right now to do that so i'm gonna do it in parts but i do know that I want to kill off like 80% of the grass out there. Just leave a patch enough for Boston to do his business and lay in and whatever. But I really don't want grass in my yard. And if I didn't think I would ever get a dog again, or if I didn't have Boston, I'd have nothing but brick, a brick backyard or like those red wood chips or something. I don't know, but I'm gonna get that done. And my front walkway, oh my goodness, you guys. I can't show you guys the front of my house and just, that's just for safety reasons and it's not that I'm this big YouTuber and you know I have this mass following but you always got to be safe online and whatever but we pulled the weeds and we swept and power washed everything down and it just looks so good and I have a few things that I am ordering to because I have some of them hooks that are there but people who owned the house before when we first came look at the house the lady had like plants and stuff like that hanging out there y'all now y'all know how i am with plants so any plants that i get to hang out there will be artificial yeah because i don't want to have to buy a plant every other week because it dies because i forget i don't know whatever so whatever i put out there plant wise is going to be artificial i do want some wind chimes but I want the kind that are low tone. I think that's what it is that I researched. I mean, not that I really care what the neighbors think because it's not like we live in condos where our houses are really close to each other or apartments or anything like that. So, you know, it's not going to, I really don't care, but I just don't like the high pitch sounds of, a, of wind chimes. I like them, but I don't like them, if that makes any sense, but I'm getting some. So anyway, the ones that I'm getting, um, they said it's low tone, so we'll see um, when that comes in. And what else, you guys? Not a whole lot, not a whole lot at all. There's been a whole lot of cleaning, which is fine. Working in the backyard, the front walkway, done the project in my room. That's it, you guys, I'm extremely bored. But you know what? I'm not complaining because I'm able to pay my bills, number one. Number two, I'm getting the rest that I needed. So, you know, I'm enjoying the time off. Yes, I'm bored and whatever, but I better enjoy it now because once we have to go back to work, it's gonna be hitting the ground running again. So I'm just taking this time to relax, do what I need to do, get whatever projects I need to get done. But even though I'm plan on doing what I'm doing to the backyard. I don't actually plan on physically doing it on my own because I'm really weird when it comes to grass, you guys. I don't like stepping in grass. I've always been that way and, well, not when I was a little girl, I don't know. And I was kind of like a tomboy for a while, so I don't know where this ickiness that I feel when I step in grass comes from. I don't know, I don't get it, but that's how I am. So anyway, that's why I'd rather someone else come out and do the yard. So I'm not gonna actually be doing it. I'm going to be designing it, if that makes any sense. So even though th that's my next project, I still need an actual project to do like physically with my hands. It's like I wanna build something. I wanna put something together. I need something to do. Um, I need something to do. I know Shine has puzzles that I can put together just to keep my mind occupied or something, but I mean like a project, like putting something together or I'm all looking around my room. I've done mostly everything in my room that I want to do. So actually, 
I have baseboards to paint in my room. Mm -hmm. I can do that. I will just need a paintbrush and because I already have paint. Yeah. Okay, I am going to do, well that's not gonna take me very long at all. Just like, done. But at least it's something. I can just take my time, get it right, make sure it's nice and nice. <laughs> so yeah, I can do that, paint the baseboards, but it's not gonna be hard to do. So, I don't know, okay. Well, I'm just catching up on my YouTube subscriptions. It's 9.30. And I'm bored. So just came back from Winco and I decided to try to do a grocery haul. So I was gonna do it the way most people do it and lay the groceries out on the counter nicely according to you know the groups of what they got. Y'all ain't getting it that way. I'm just show y'all what I got. So as you can see right here, I tried to start it, but I didn't. So we just got a bunch of different meats to cook. <laughs> Some Texas toast. Um Special K cereal with, I'm about to say raspberries, with strawberries. Let's see. I think I got three different kinds of cheeses. I did get yogurt, more than one. Light brown sugar, Savannah's making homemade chocolate chip cookies. Maybe tonight, I don't know. Um, a box of pastaroni, the brown and serve sausages. They didn't have the big container of the coffee that I normally get, so I just got small ones. So these are the single cup, K cup ones, and then the Winco brand corn. This is a horrible haul, I know you guys, but I don't do these. So the French cut green beans, I got a thing of honey, orange juice, ketchup, lettuce, some more coffee. Um, pasta in a bag. <laughs> I've never tried this dressing before, but I got it because it says cilantro and I love anything cilantro. So more yogurt, just different flavors, like cherry, blackberry, peach, and then this is just um, cooking spray. I got orange juice, got mashed potatoes. Savannah likes the sugar snap peas, so that is actually hers. More cheese, chocolate chips for Savannah's, for cookies that she's gonna make. We got raspberries, is that right? Yeah. And then salad mix, bacon Caesar, more yogurt, Pop-Tarts, a thing of rice, because once again, I could not find the rice that I normally get. Um, anyway, a thing of milk, some apples, some juice. I don't know why this is out. I think it fell out the bag. I did get four of these green peppers because I'm gonna make stuffed bell peppers. Did I say green peppers? Yeah. Fresh corn on the cob. Um, Hawaiian's, Hawaiian sweet rolls. S'mores cereal. These, this kind is really good right here, you guys. I got some bananas because I'm gonna make banana bread. And I'm not done. I usually make my greens. This is a crying shame. My family would be ashamed of me <laughs> when they see that I'm buying greens in the can, but I don't feel like making it, so. That, I bought this because I'm gonna make the ban banana bread and I don't have a loaf container, a loaf pan, some lemons, more rice. I love the jasmine rice. Pancake mix, cheesecake mix, <laughs> more Pop-Tarts. This kind is in cream. We got bacon here. Bacon soda, more yogurt. You guys can tell we love yogurt around here. Got some hash browns. It's funny because I got the ready to use pie crust and I forgot to get the pie, the filling to go with it. The walnuts and more yogurt. And I also got two big old things of water, a hint of lime. And over here we have two Langer's juice, mango, strawberry, banana, and pineapple, orange, guava. All right, you guys, there you have it. There's my grocery haul. Now I'm gonna put everything away. Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday. 
let's see if I can get a full vlog day for you guys. Anyway, it is Sunday and I've been up maybe a couple of hours, but I'm just now getting up and like out of my room. So yeah, it really looks like it's going to rain, but I hope it doesn't. Backyard is beginning to look decent. It's not remade like I want it to be, but at least the grass is cut. No longer a jungle. I don't know if I told you guys that or not. But yeah, I'm up and I'm about to make some coffee and I don't know. I'm not really hungry at the moment, so probably won't eat anything now, but I am going to make my coffee. Okay, so in a little bit, I plan on making um, a banana bread. I actually made some the other day and I vlogged it and everything, but it did not come out right because I used a recipe which I found out afterwards that it's for a slow cooker. And yeah, I didn't know you can bake desserts in a slow cooker, so that was my fault. Totally messed it up. So anyway, I'm gonna use the correct recipe this time and I'll vlog that. And also I'm going to make the stuffed jalapeno, not stuffed jalapenos, stuffed bell peppers. I'm gonna make that for dinner. So yeah, I mean, it's still early, but I do wanna make the banana bread. So I'm waiting on a package from Amazon it's supposed to be delivered today. I keep checking because I did order something and it was delivered um, yesterday. We didn't hear the doorbell. They didn't ring the doorbell. Maybe because of everything that's going on, they don't wanna touch the doorbell. I don't know, but that's the second time this is that's happened since we've been home during quarantine. So yeah, look on the Amazon and it will say delivered but they won't ring the doorbell. So so I keep looking out there just to see. I'm gonna keep checking the phone to see if anything has been delivered. Anyway, I'm gonna start on the banana bread right now. All right, you guys, so I am done with the banana bread and I can tell you already, this looks better than the first batch that I made. I'm not gonna show you that. I actually threw it away. I know it's wasteful, but it was horrible. Could not even eat it. So, it's going in the oven. One. And two. I should have actually filled that one up a little bit more, but it's okay. All right, you guys, so I'm super excited. Ignore the dishes back there because that's just what I use to make the banana bread and whatever. So ignore all that. Anyway, um, so yes, I did get my package from Amazon and some things for my room. I'm not gonna show you guys that yet, but some things that I did get you could, so that I can show you guys because when it's actually up, I can't show you guys because it's the front of my house. So remember I told you guys that we cleaned the weeds and power washed everything down. So I have some hooks out there that I'm going to hang a few things up so I got this right here just a little spinner it's red white and blue and it just twirls in the wind I did get my wind chimes I know a lot of people think they're annoying I think they're annoying when the wind is blowing so when it's really windy I'll just go out there and take it down and I also got a rug I'm gonna do the layered look my door is red if you guys didn't know that and then I got a red and black checkered rug and then I'm gonna have another rug on top that hasn't come yet and I will show you guys when I get that so I also got a no soliciting sign so let me explain to you guys something growing up I was raised to you don't go over anyone's house unexpectedly. Even if, even though my family's from the South and people used to go visit each other, I don't know, my mom just raised me that you don't go over to people's house without calling and you don't just pop up and show up to people's house is rude. You don't know what they're doing, what they're planning, if they're dressed, if they're even expecting you, if they even want you there. So that's how I was raised, right? So. I am the same way and the people who welcome anyone in and out their house I'm not saying that's a wrong thing I'm just saying this is how I was raised so anyway I'm the same way so I don't like it unless your family member or a neighbor 
or of course if I know you're coming that's one thing but don't knock on my door I'm not buying anything don't want to hear about the religion I already have religion I have God I'm not changing my telephone carrier you know it's just things like that so this is the sign that I got and I think it's super cute it says no soliciting seriously don't make it awkward so I got this and has a little handle there you I'm just gonna hang it on the door knocker but what I really wanted to get but I didn't because it just looks too and I'll show you guys I don't know it says do not knock no uninvited or unexpected callers this is a private property we will not buy anything at the door nor change utility companies donate to charity listen to religious or political views participate in surveys and we do not want to sell our house do not disturb and I'll show you guys this this is what I really wanted but it just looks too it's like that metal type of sign right there so that's what I really really wanted to get but I'm like no it really doesn't look that great too bad they didn't have all that saying on one of the wood signs otherwise I would have got it my poor hair but I'm not going anywhere so anyway I'm going to hang that up on the door and yeah you guys I know maybe a handful of people who I know for certain I could just go to their house unexpectedly I don't know because that's just how I was raised but I know it's good to know that they're that way they they don't care they welcome visitors but me I don't when my doorbell rings I sit here like who has the nerve and the audacity to come knock on my door I really sit here like and I go look out the peephole and if I don't know you, I'm not opening the door. I also started to get, let me see, I saved it on my list. In addition to my no soliciting sign, I started to get a doormat that said, did I take it off? Oh, I seen different doormats. One that says, did you call first? And another one that says, if you didn't call, I'm not home. Another one says, let me see. Friendly reminder, unless you call or text first, we don't answer the door. And then another one that says, oh, it says the same thing, but it's just written in different script. So I was going to get one of those in addition to my no soliciting sign, but I seen something that was better. And I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, if they still knock on my door after the no soliciting sign, because I had a no soliciting sign out there before, and the way it was positioned, no one could see it, and then it fell off the house. <laughs> and I forgot that I even had it out there, and then I started getting people knocking on my door. And so one time, okay, if you guys get offended over this, I'm sorry, this is just me. So one time I had a certain group of religious people come knock on my door and I answered it this is like when I first moved in and I told the guy I said you know what I have no soliciting signs outside my door and he leaned on like the edge of my door like almost in my house and he was very very cocky and he goes well we're not selling anything I said mm, you're trying to sell me on the idea that your religion is the right way to go I don't believe that way so therefore you are soliciting his mouth opened, he could not say a thing. He said, have a nice day. And I said, you too, God bless. And he went on his way. So yeah, that's my number one saying for when people come knock on the door and say, we're not soliciting. Yes, you are. You're trying to sell me on the ideal that's soliciting. So anyway, I mean, I don't know. I just, I'm just one of those weird people. Don't bug me. And it does, like I said, it doesn't go for my neighbors. If my neighbors need to knock on the door and tell me something, of course, obviously that, you know, they can do it but other than that don't knock on my door okay so the banana bread is done and it tastes good you guys but it's not as dark in color as I thought it would be and I did some research and my bananas probably were too firm I mean they weren't hard but it should be really ripe bananas and I probably used like a little bit too much banana because I like banana flavoring so I honestly did put more in it than I should have so that way I'll know for next time but it tastes good nor these marks in here that was me sticking the knife in to try to see if it was done good morning everyone just another day in the quarantine I don't know I think today's Thursday I think it is let me look at my phone um, 
yes, today is Thursday, April 23rd. So, you guys, I am bored. I'm definitely bored. But to be honest, I'm not going crazy yet because I was a homebody before. I mean, I did like going out to a few places, you know. But this whole thing is not really bugging me. I think what bugs me the most is when someone says you can't, you want to do it. So now that I can't go to Hobby Lobby, I want to go to Hobby Lobby, you know. It's whatever. Um, I don't think they're planning on lifting this thing anytime soon, which if people would only listen and stop gathering in large crowds and, okay, let me say something. I have to throw this out there. So. And I put this on my Facebook page, and um, yes, I do have a Facebook page, but you guys, I keep my Facebook page for family and close friends, and that is it. So if you guys do see me on Facebook, I'll feel offended when I don't accept the request because that's just strictly for that. But you can always follow me on Snapchat at Bell Life 165 and on Instagram at the Bell Life. And of course you guys can see me here. So, and I will follow you back on those other um, platforms. Anyway, what was I saying? So I put this on my Facebook page a while ago because this is absolutely bugging me. And if you're one of these people doing this, please just take the time to rethink about what you're doing. So when this all started, how everyone of course went out buying toilet paper, we heard my rant about that. And then, you know, they're buying hand sanitizer, gloves, and masks. Okay, I get you want to protect yourself with the mask. Smart. Okay, good. And with, But with the gloves, when I see someone in the store with gloves on, I want to just smack them on the back of the head because you're touching every... Okay, I come from a medical and a dental background, so when you t touch something... With your gloves on before you reach into a drawer or before you go to the next patient you take those same stinking gloves off and wash your hands in between of course and you don't use the same gloves well these people and they had this one lady and i had to make sure i did not get what she was getting i was looking for a salad mix right so she had her gloves on and she was touching all different kinds of salads and oh no not this kind and talking to somebody on the phone well we can get this and she'd pick it up put it back whatever and i'm looking i'm like i don't know where those gloves have been i don't know if she has been digging in her nose if she used her glove to cover her mouth I mean, that's disgusting. You think you're protecting stuff, but you're actually, in actuality, you are infecting. Everything you come in contact with is a potential for contamination. So, yeah, why you think we change gloves in between patients? Think about it that way. I seen a man, I don't know if I told you guys this, but he went to the ATM and he thought he was being careful. He had his gloves on, but yet he pulled out his ATM card, pressed it on the buttons, then put it back in his pocket, reached in his pocket, with the gloves, same gloves on, reached in, in his pocket, grabbed out his keys, got in his car, and started driving. What's the point in having the gloves? Because if that ATM, if that ATM machine had some kind of contamination on it, it's now on the gloves, which is now on your keys, which is now on your wallet, which is now on your door handle, which is now on your steering wheel. Think about it that way. You're not protecting anything when you wear one pair of gloves all day long. That's just stupid. Just don't do it. I'm sorry. I just had to go on that rant. Anyway, it is another day and, um, oh, I was telling you guys that I'm actually okay with this. I mean, I'm going a little bit crazy, but not a lot. I mean, I'm actually okay. I'm not to the point of where I'm like, going crazy yet but I'm okay um, of course I don't want this to go on forever no one does and if people would only listen like I said and stop gathering in large crowds and you know stop having protests at the Capitol yeah we get it we all want to be able to go out again and go to the beach and not that we have a beach here in Sacramento but you know we all want to be able to go out and live our lives but this is only for our protection this is only for our health so yeah and one thing that i heard i don't know how if this is true or not so if you any of you guys live in florida if you guys watch the news let me know but they opened back up the beaches and then they had 1400 cases 
of the virus so let me know if that's true it could all be just hearsay i just heard seen someone on facebook post it so it didn't come from a news or anything like that i'm here i'm home i'm safe i'm safe at home bored but i understand i haven't vlogged in like days and last time i did it was just like here and there because you guys i'm telling you you're not doing anything nothing at all i did have to go into work one day she had one of those protective masks um i forgot what you call it the in something mask and then she had the regular dental mask over that but she went in because her doctor had so many emergencies that he needed help so of course everyone didn't come at the same time he scheduled them like completely far apart so yeah she said they may be seeing four patients all day long because he wanted to work on a patient, get them you know, out before the next one came in so they can practice social distancing. And even though he had to be there with the patient, I'm sure he was like fully masked and gloved up and stuff like that. So anyway, I did get a few more things from Amazon for my front porch. And I'm actually gonna show you guys how I did the layered look for my rug. So I will show you guys that, but like I said, I can't show you everything because it's my front door. So I will show you guys that that's already outside. So the next time I get up, maybe, I don't know, I'll show you guys. I know I'm just rambling, but I haven't vlogged for a long time. Wow, seven minutes that I've been running my mouth about who knows what. Anyway, it's 11 o'clock. I've only been up like 30 minutes. This is what's going to kill me when I go back to work because I'm used to getting up during the week. I've been getting up at 6.30, sometimes 6, depending on how good I feel, you know. And now I've been getting up 10, 10.30. If I go to bed like super, super late, I've been getting up at noon. I have not done that since I was a teenager or in my early 20s before my kids came. Like on a Saturday, I sleep a long time. Yeah, it's it's really strange, you guys. I need to get back in the habit of going to sleep on time and waking up at a decent hour. Yeah. All right, let's go make some coffee. Look at my plant, you guys. She's hanging on. I just sprayed the leaves. Um, I did water it on Saturday. Like, I have to set my alarm clock, but yeah. Um, I think I showed you guys things before. Little things like that gives me hope. But I don't know if it's supposed to be brown on the inside like that. You guys that are plant experts, tell me, am I doing it right? And then some of the leaves on here like are dying. Is that normal? I don't know. I'm trying, y'all. I really am trying. But so far, she's still alive. I haven't killed her yet. Okay, so I'm having my coffee in my Disneyland Main Street Electrical Parade mug. So, I'm going back to my room. Okay, now that it's quiet, hold on. Okay, had to wait for the truck to go down further. Now that it's quiet, I can show you guys my doormat that I got. It says, Christ is the head of this house. And I decided to go with the layered doormat look. And I think it looks lovely. Even though the red doesn't exactly completely match the door, but I think it still looks okay. I absolutely love my red door, you guys, and I need to find out exactly what shade of red this is because I want to repaint it because it's just dull and just freshen it up a bit. And I do have the no soliciting sign up right there. Uh, I have it up here by a push pin, but then I do have the double-sided tape, but I should have used command strips because apparently it's not sticking up there very well. But I think it also has something to do with these ropes being behind here. So yeah. I can't show you everything else because I am still waiting on two things to get here from Amazon for my front walkway, but I don't think I'm going to show you guys when it's up because I would have to go back and show you guys more of my the front of my house and I'm just not gonna do that for safety reasons I hope you guys understand I'm so excited everything's coming together and yeah and I'm standing here because I can't really go into my room too much vlogging because you guys will see the changes that I've made and I don't want you guys to see it yet because I'm not doing a reveal video until I finish getting everything that I need from Amazon. I need to go back to work because Amazon is getting all my money. All right, you guys, so even though it is afternoon, 
I'm eating breakfast because like I told you guys, I was up at like 10.30 and well, I woke up at 10.30. I didn't actually get up and brush my teeth, wash my face until maybe about 11 o'clock, something like that. But anyway, I'm just now having breakfast at almost two o'clock. And Savannah made breakfast actually. We are out of bacon and I didn't wanna, I'm not gonna make a trip to the store just for bacon because that's not a necessity. So in my room, you guys, it feels actually nice to be in my room because I like my room. My wall color is gray and I, even though it's a little bit on the darker side, it does not make me feel like it's closed in or I know some people feel that gray walls are depressing. It's not at all because I filled it in with white, you know, so my room is mainly gray and white for the most part. I mean, my furniture is brown, but I can't change that because I painted my walls after, like years after I got my furniture. Anyway, feels really good to be in my room because my room has a really good peaceful feel to it but the only thing that I don't like right now and this is not a complaint this is just you know how it is I don't have a whole lot of light in my room so right now it is 2 30 and I don't have any lights on I just have my blinds open and then I have a little uh, window in my bathroom that window right there and then of course in my actual bathroom I have a window right there so yeah I don't have a whole lot of light that shines in my room like during this time but in the late afternoon my room will get brighter so yeah it's kind of dim but it's not so yeah that's the only thing I can complain if it was a complaint about my room but other than that I feel really good being in here today for a change of scenery something different I don't know so it's like three hours later since I last picked up the camera and not a whole lot I've been here watching my subscriptions on YouTube actually catching up um, I took a nap <laughs> that's it that's it. I got up to get something to drink because I'm still full from Savannah's super huge big old breakfast that she made. And yeah, so I'm doing nothing, you guys. And y'all, I'm still fascinated with the tiny cooking. I don't watch it as much as I used to, but I still like it. Okay, so the girls are in the living room playing dance, dance, let's dance. Let's Dance 2019's Dance. I don't know, one of them games where you use the Wii controller and you do the dance moves. So hopefully I won't get copyrighted if you guys hear any songs. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys my dinner. Yes, I'm in my room and I'm eating. I'm grown. I'm a little hungry, not that much. So I decided to eat a small dinner. And yesterday, I didn't vlog this, but we ordered from a, let me turn you guys around. A restaurant called Louisiana Heaven. And I had never heard of this food this place before so I decided to give it a try and being that my family's from Louisiana and Texas I know what good soul food should taste like this stuff is okay I mean I've had better it's it's okay and I have an uncle who makes boudin which is a sausage with rice and all this other stuff in it and this is what I, one of the things that I have on here but it's just okay. So let me show you guys. So this is their mac and cheese. Once again, just okay. Right here is the fried okra. I'm sorry to say this, and I always like supporting black owned businesses, but I've had better at turkeys for when it comes to the fried okra. Anyway, this is a hot lake sausage, and that's actually really good. You can't really mess that up. And the barbecue sauce that they have on this is flavored really good. Right here is boudin and I just took a small piece of it it's a boudin sausage it's not as spicy as I would like but whatever and right here is a rib and when I ordered it I don't remember if I ordered beef ribs or pork ribs because you guys know I'm allergic to pork I can only have like a bite or two but last night I had a whole rib and usually the symptoms of me eating pork will come on within the hour. I did not get those symptoms. So yeah, this is my dinner, you guys. Not very much, mostly protein. I'm looking at my plate and I'm like, this does not look very appetizing. It looks like it's been picked at and this is the leftovers. But anyway, this is my dinner, you guys. All right, you guys. 
I just put this back on because I actually just filmed two videos, which you guys will most likely see before this video, but I just wanted to vlog a full day of what we've been doing on the quarantine, and I know you guys only see me in this part of it, but this has been all that I've done. Yeah, I did work on my online schooling that I've been doing, done that today, but other than that, I've been sitting here watching a whole lot of Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, and YouTube. So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I don't know when I'll see you again as far as a vlog. Yeah. All right. Bye. Love you guys. Stay safe.